Jump de jump jump jump. So, unlike the terrifying monsters you see in the movies, the great white shark is another important link in that big old eco chain we call life. The end. Uh, good report, Sabrina. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Phylum. Until this class, I had no idea how interesting biology could be. <sighs> well, you did excellent work, and it seems you really <laughs> sunk your teeth into the subject matter. <laughs> Hello? Hello? And now, class, as you know, this weekend is the special marine biology field oh, trip. Oh. Uh, since we'll be using a small boat, I can only take five of you. Me! Me! No, no, me! 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 me. me. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Did anybody see that? I haven't decided yet, but I promise to go over my records tonight and pick the five most promising oceanographers. I'll announce the names tomorrow. Class dismissed. <sighs> well, see you tomorrow. Oh. I mean, are those other girls obvious or what? Did you see the way they threw themselves at him? Oh, it was pretty gross. Hey, do you think he'll like the car cover we knitted him? <laughs> I hope so. We'll ask him on the field trip on Saturday. But what if we don't get chosen? Get real. You're his best student, and didn't you hear him rave about my report? Come on, he has to pick us. Hmm. Oh, I hate you! Cursed contraption, die! Mom! <gasps> Isn't this a pretty picture? Yo, uh, hello, girls. What's the problem, Uncle Quigley? I, uh, seem to be having a little difficulty loading the camera. Hmm. Oh, why, you little... <gasps> <gasps> Where to go? I can't see. Whoa. Whoa. Chill out, Uncle Quig. What's the rush? It's my plant. It's an extremely rare Timidicus hibiscus. It only blooms once every 25 years, and today's the day. And since I've watered and fed it every day for 25 years, just waiting for this moment, I want to take a picture when it blooms. There. Now I'm ready. Huh? <gasps> oh, you I'm so glad this camera has an easy load feature. Uncle Quig, when you're finished, could I borrow the camera for this weekend? I want a shot of Chloe and me and Mr. Phylum on the boat. Huh? Oh, sure, sure, fine, whatever. Are you sure, Sabrina? You never know who Mr. Phylum may pick. Mortals can be so unpredictable. I never thought of that. It would be awful if he didn't pick Chloe. This wasn't an easy choice, but here's a list of the five who are going with me on the field trip. And they are... Chloe. Yes! <laughs> Jesse. What? Mei Ling. <gasps> Trevor. <gasps> and of course, Delji Dully Wally Walla. Hot diggity! Call me crazy, but are you upset about something? Salem, I am so depressed. My favorite teacher didn't pick me for the field trip. Well, I'll show him. I'll find some way to transfer out of his class. Hey, why not just drop out of school altogether? Someone's got to flip burgers for the hungry folks in the netherworld. Ugh. You don't understand. It makes me so mad. It makes me so sad. I'm so confused. Ugh. Hey, why not do what I do when I'm confused? Howl at the moon and eat muffin mix? Not that. Pay a visit to the ancient and revered wise warlock of the East. Wait a minute. You're usually full of bad advice. Why are you suddenly referring me to someone else? The ancient and revered wise warlock of the East. Free frequent flyer miles with every referral. Nice try, Salem. Well, excuse my compassion. Just because I'm saving up for a vacation to Aruba doesn't mean he can't help you. What have I got to lose? How do I get there? Just read the spell on the back of the card. 
Take me to that warlock man. If he can't cure me, no one can. Oh, great. Why can't these guys ever live in Palm Beach? Ah! Uh-huh. Uh, are you the wise warlock? People sit like this. The pain you got in the ointment. Uh, no. Figures. People always bring me their troubles, but do any of them bring me ointment? Uh, maybe I should come back when you're feeling better. <laughs> no, stop. Sit. Take a load off. I see a teacher. I see a name not chosen. I see disappointment. Amazing. How do you know that? I see you don't know. Salem called me. Who is that guy? He's a gnome. He does a little light cleaning and some cooking. You haven't eaten till you've had a gnome-cooked meal. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. The wise warlock knows all, and he knows you are suffering from a broken heart. That'll be $24.95. You can pay at the register. And on your way out, don't forget to visit the gift shop. We're having a special this week on chocolate wizard hats. But, 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 um... And be sure to tell all your friends about the wise Vorlock. I gotta go now. I got guests like you wouldn't believe. Now, wait just a second. I already knew what was wrong with me. I came to you for a cure. A cure? For a broken heart? What do I look like, dear Abby? I don't know why I came here in the first place. I'm out of here. All right, all right. Don't get your knickers in a knot. I'll tell you what you gotta do. She who wishes to cure a broken heart must first go on a quest. A quest? What, your heart broken and deaf? I said a quest. Where do I have to find on this quest? You must find a person, mortal or witch, who has never ever had their heart broken. Then and only then will I tell you the cure. Oh, and on your way back, can you pick up some milk and a dozen prune Danish? But how will I know if somebody's had their heart broken? With this! Thank you, Norman. I call it my hearty cam. Just look through this screen. It'll show you if the person wearing it has ever suffered a heartbreak. At least it should. Either the reception in this cave is the worst or Norman here is dead. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll give you the hearty cam as is 50 bucks plus postage and handling. If you really wanted to help, you wouldn't sell me some broken down gizmo. You'd go with me. The wise Volok? On a quest? Oh, I give up. Like I said, you're nothing but an old coot. I'm going home. You are such a nudge. Okay, okay, I'll go with you. I gotta pick up my dry cleaning anyway. Norman, my hearty cam. I'll be out questing with smarty pants here. Watch the phone. And don't forget to walk the yak. You're going on the quest with me? We really should get your hearing checked while we're out. This is your school. And I thought living in the cave was depressing. We're in a closet. I thought it'd be better if you stayed hidden. No need. The wise Volok is completely invisible to all but yourself. Move it, geezer. No! I'm gonna lay such a case on that kid. Never mind that now. I have to go find someone who's never had their heart broken. You wait here. Spellman, where's the emergency? It's just the janitor. He's kicked the bucket. You didn't have to kill her. I didn't. I just put a freeze frame spell on her. This is Jen. She's too rich to have her heart broken. Think so? Let's take a look through the hearty cam. 
See? It's working! There! See that? Behind the left ventricle! Ew, ew. What is it? It's a memory stored in her heart from six months ago. Look! It's Jeff's house! There's a party going on! Wow! What a shindig! Attention! Attention, everyone! For those of you who were fashionably late, let's recap my daughter Jim's fabulous 12th birthday party. <laughs> so far, we've given her a string of polo ponies, her own signature line of designer clothes, a luxury yacht for the swimming pool. And to cap off the festivities, the Greendale Philharmonic will play as teen heartthrob Leo DeWolf serves up the first slice of birthday cake. Maestro? Hey, is that vanilla ice cream? But I wanted strawberry! Is that... Too much to ask? You're not serious. You call that heartbreak? What can I say? Break is in the heart of the beholder. To her, it's heartbreak. Well, maybe Jen wasn't a good choice. Come on with me. I know someone else we can try. This is Harvey. So you figure Mr. Nobby Knees here has never had a broken heart? He'll be heartbreak free for sure. Well, let's take a look. you back. My main man Harvey needs space. Wow, he's been playing for eight hours. He's on the 20th level. No one's ever gone that far before. Well, I hear he's going for the big enchilada. Level 50. They say level 50 holds the meaning of life. Foolish mortal. No one can beat the mystic masters of mayhem. Time to quit already. <clears throat> Mustn't quit. It's so near. <laughs> Suit yourself, kid. But it's late. I gotta start cleaning. You are about to reach the 50th level. Prepare to experience the awe and mystery of the cosmos. What? Oh, I guess I unplugged it. Uh, sorry. No! <laughs> Welcome, beginner, to level one. <laughs> Wanna play? But that's just a game. You can't have your heart broken over a game. You're kidding, right? Ever heard of the Boston Red Sox? Okay, okay. So Harvey has had his heart broken. I know. Let's try my Uncle Quigley. He's just too sensible to let it happen to him. It's your quest. <laughs> Come on, precious. I've taken care of you every day for 25 long years. Now bloom for daddy. Please? Hilda! Zelda! Telephone! Salem! Somebody get that phone! Hello. Yes, this is Quigley. What about my long-distance service? No, I don't need free ginkgo knives. I excuse me, but I... I have to go now. Goodbye. Huh? No! I was only got a moment. <laughs> Could you wait till I got back? <laughs> 25 long years. <laughs> oh, I guess he does have his disappointments. So far, we're three for three. Now let's keep this quest moving. We'll go upstairs. There's somebody up there for sure who hasn't had their heart broken. I should hope so. 
Uh, speaking of which, is there a little Vorlock's room upstairs? I knew I should have gone before I left the cave. Oy. And Hild is way too much of a flirt to get her heart broken. Oh boy, she's been a busy little bee. Her heart's chock full of ex-boyfriends. Hey, take a look at this memory. That must be Paris. She lived there in the early 1900s. Ah, my Paris. I had a bunion scape there once. Oh, Pierre, your painting, it looks just like me. It's beautiful. And this portrait of me is so realistic. It's fabuloso. It's true. So why aren't they selling? Don't worry. One day the whole world will recognize the genius of Pierre Pistachio. Soon I hope I am broke. Until then, it's time you made up your mind between Zelda and me. Yes. It isn't fair for you to go on dating us both. Bah! I need you both. You are my inspiration. But... But nothing. I'm going to buy some croissants. Huh? Either of you got money? Huh. You can tell Pierre likes me best. My picture is prettier. Anyone with a trained eye could tell mine is superior. That means he likes me best. Oh, yeah? Ah, my picture! <laughs> you ruined me! <laughs> my paintings! What has happened? They are... Magnifique! What power! What anger! What strength! I must have these paintings. I'll give you 10,000 francs. Each. Oui, and I must have more just like them. Can you paint me more? Me? Paint like this? <laughs> Why not? Au revoir, you two. I have the new inspiration now. <laughs> <gasps> He's leaving me, and it's your fault. He's leaving me, and it's your fault. I don't believe it! Aunt Hilda and Aunt Zelda? I'm through fooling around. I know someone who's definitely never had his heart broken. A warlock who is so selfish, so cynical, so self-centered. How is Salem? I bet I know where we can find him right now. That's funny. I have a sudden yen for a croissant. I told you a thousand times, this is an aquarium, not a restaurant. Ah, in. Let me in! Let me in! Oh, you're breaking my heart. So much for Mr. Viscous. Maybe we can go back to the cave now? Oh, no. I have just begun to quest. My feet, my back, oh! If I ever decide to go out questing again, just shoot me! <sighs> well, that's it. I failed, I'm sorry. I looked everywhere, and I couldn't find one person who hasn't had their heart broken. Aha! Aha what? Aha! What you just said! What? That I couldn't find anyone who hasn't had a broken heart? Aha! Stop that! I'll stop aha when you start thinking! Work with me, we're almost to the moral here. Think, Sabrina. Maybe, maybe there is no person who's never had their heart broken. Because? Because everyone goes through disappointment at some time. And maybe, maybe there is no cure because there's nothing to be cured. It's kind of like heartbreak is just a natural part of life. Norman, show how much she's won. Would you look at that? A discount coupon redeemable at any gift shop in this cave. Congratulations, kiddo. You figured it out. And with only a little help. Gee, thanks. I feel better knowing I'm not the only one who's been hurt. Still. I know, I know. I wish I could make the pain go away right now. But that's beyond even my powers. You just have to give it time. I should know. Even the wise Warlock has suffered a heartbreak or two. But there are things you can do to help. Norman, get involved with a new project. 
or set a new goal like Quigley did. Or help someone else who's been disappointed, because helping others helps yourself. That's what Harvey did. Or put things in perspective, like Hilda and Zelda. Remember, there are folks worse off than you. Thanks, Wise Warlock. You really are a wise guy. The wisest. And don't forget to talk me up around town. Just a few friends with problems can really rack up your freaking fire miles. How about the tote bag? The color screams you. And remember the wise Warlock's wisest words. It always pays to shop in volume. Sabrina, where have you been? You disappeared so fast after class yesterday. Yeah, I know. I was kind of bummed. I don't blame you. I can't believe Mr. Phylum didn't pick you. Yeah, I was real hurt at first. I even considered getting out of biology, but I'm better now. Really? How'd you manage that? Um, I just tried to put everything in perspective, and then... I got over it. Cool bag. Where'd you get it? Like it? I know someone who will sell you as many as you want. <laughs> <laughs> Jump, jump, jump. Okay, Sabrina, it's time to check out our handiwork. You really think it's ready? Absolutely. After four days under this ultraviolet light, our little plant should have reached the precise peak of its growth cycle. This is so exciting. Yeah, I'm all a Twitter. <clears throat> Ooh. Nope, it's just a bird I ate. Just think, Uncle Quig, you've created a whole new kind of plant. And because of your invaluable help, I've decided to name it after both of us. Really? Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time anywhere, Sabrina and Quigley present the Squiggly. That's it? Now, now, looks aren't everything. A hybrid such as this must be admired for its proportion, its personality, its foliage. What foliage? It needs a leaf to pay. Hmm, you'll see. It will be the hit of Botanicum Floribunda. I thought you were going to a flower show. Salem, that is a flower show. It's the Greendale Garden Society's biggest event of the year. And I guarantee the squiggly will knock their socks off. <gasps> My, my, is it fall already? Hey, everyone! Mail call! Man, look at all this witch junk mail! Publisher's scaring house, a new barbecued bat joint, a coupon for two free warts. Hey! Zelda! Your invisible cloak came! Sure look different in the catalog. Look! Here's a letter from great-great-great-great-grandpa Gandalf! My, oh, that's a lot of greats. It says he's coming for a visit. Uh-oh. I can feel my cheeks being pinched already. Last time it took them two weeks to pop back out. I just love hearing his stories about the old days. Fascinating. Yeah, maybe the first thousand times. Hey, wait, there's more. P.S. Enclosed, please find me. Hello. Grandpa Gandalf! Oh, 
<laughs> hey there, family! <laughs> Grandpa Gandalf, it's so wonderful to see you. Zelda, you're prettier than ever. And how's my favorite little dribble chin? Uh, Grandpa Gandalf, about that nickname, I was too... Oh, looky here. Grandpa brought you a shiny new nickel. Gee, now she can buy that new wardrobe she's been dreaming of. And for my favorite flower, Hilda, here's your favorite flowers, <gasps> Snapdragons. Oh! <laughs> Guess I left out the snap part. Allow me. Sorry, Hilda. I say, maybe you'd rather have some tiger lilies. No! no! Uh, uh, so, uh, what brings uh, you to Greendale, Gramps? You got a notice in the mail. It's time to renew my witching license. Has it been another 200 years already? Don't they usually give the witchery test at the Netherworld DMV? Uh. Yep. Department of Magical Vocations, but they had to shut it down this month. Place was infested. Yeah, you mean with bugs? Worse, elves. Night and day, day and night, the constant cobbling. It was driving them up the wall. So for now, they moved the test to the Greendale office, which means I can visit my favorite relatives. Well, you're always welcome here, Grandpa Gandalf. In fact, in your honor, I'll make a special welcome grandpa dinner tonight. Let me show you to your room. Dinner? But Aunt Zelda, I had plans for tonight. The whole gang's going to Chloe's to watch music videos on her new big screen TV. Sabrina, you can watch videos anytime. Family comes first. Great, just great. Them's the breaks, dribble chin. So I say to the pharaoh, What's with this Sphinx thing? Is it a cat? Is it a person? Make up your mind. But then, Cleopatra comes in, and I forget all about the Sphinx. <laughs> she was a looker, I tell you. You knew Cleopatra? Knew her? Are you kidding? The girl was crazy about me. We spent so many hours cruising down the Nile together, I got waterlogged. But the court wizard, boy, was he jealous. He tried to get even by making a hole of nothingness. What's a hole of nothingness? Well, you don't have those in Greendale? But it's kind of a big black hole made out of nothing. And it sucks up everything in sight. What a real pain. So, what did you do? Well, everyone panicked, but not me. I knew a hole of nothingness when I saw one. I stood up and faced the hole. With a mighty wave of my arms, I cast a spell. The hole of nothingness was plugged forever. Naturally, Cleopatra is thankful. My, that was exciting. Well, oh, if everyone's through eating, Sabrina, it's your turn to do the dishes. What? Oh, right. Please, allow me. Here's a little spell I used after supper at King Arthur's Round Table. Presto Clino! Oopsie! Yeah, I forgot. Back then we had metal plates. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Greendale Garden Club's annual Botanicum Floribunda Flower Festival. Judging on the hybrid entries will begin immediately. Gee, the competition looks pretty stiff this year. Think we have a chance? I'll tell you what I told Custer. Hey, what can go wrong? I also said this looks like a good spot for a picnic, but that's another story. <sighs> Very good. Hmm, passable, passable. <gasps> well, this is it. Wish us luck. Good heavens! What is that? It's a hybrid of trailing arbutus. Uh, we call it the squiggly. <laughs> I'd call it a weed. <gasps> Perhaps you meant to enter it in the compost and crabgrass division? <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh... Oh, poor Quigley. Now, don't you worry about a thing. That plant just needs a little perking up. And I got just the spell. Uh, Grandpa, maybe you better not... Oops. 
Goodness, look what's happening. It's a little spell I learned from Jack. You know, the oh! beanstalk guy? What is going on here? Oh, no! What is that? It's a plant you can write home about. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Grandpa, make Sorry. it stop! Oh, right. Now, let's see. Yeah, how does that stopping spell go again? Ah! Hurry, Grandpa, hurry! You relax, youngster. No need to get carried away. I'm telling you, Grandpa Gandalf is a menace. We gotta do something. Just be patient, Sabrina. He'll be headed home soon enough once he passes his witchery test. Get real! You saw what he did at the garden festival. There's no way he's going to pass that test. Let's face it, he's just too... too old. I agree with Dribblechin, but we may have to help him. Yeah, help who? <gasps> oh, uh, hi, Grandpa. We were just saying how maybe we should help you, uh... Practice for your witchery test. Me? Practice for the test? Why, I've been a warlock since dirt was new. I should be giving this test. But, Grandpa... Don't oh, but, Grandpa me. You think I'm too old, don't you? No, oh, no, 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 no. Well, I won't practice, and that's final. I've never been in better magical condition. I'll prove it. Here and there, there and here, make myself disappear. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't be alarmed, I'm still here, but I am completely invisible. Yep, I've still got it. And we see it. That picture will take years to erase from my memory. It's hopeless. He'll never pass that test unless he practices. We'll be stuck with him forever. Then we'll just make him practice. But we haven't taken the witchery test in 150 years. I don't even remember what's on it. Fear not, friends. It just so happens I own a state-of-the-art study aid. <laughs> Netherworld Films, in association with Screamword, <laughs> so you want to be a warlock. Hello and welcome. In this fast-paced world of horseless carriages and high-speed locomotives, your study time may be limited, but have no fear. This film will teach you everything you need to pass the witchery exam. This is perfect! Let's begin, shall we? The first skill we'll focus on is levitation. During your witchery exam, you will be asked to make a heavy object rise into the air. Prepare dinner, Grandpa Gandalf. Can you hand me some milk, please? Sure thing. And while you're at it, I need some butter, applesauce, and six pineapples. Yeah, uh, well, okay. Uh, uh, oh, I also need a dozen eggs right away. Just levitate them here. Coming right up. <laughs> On your test, you will also be required to pass yourself through a solid object. Grandpa Gandalf, can I speak with you for a moment? Yeah, sure thing, sweetie. Be right in. Hello, Zelda! Well, there's more than one way to enter a house. Zelda, you wanted to see me? I'm in here, Grandpa Gandalf. Hmm. All warlocks must be able to change the weather. This step is very important. Hmm. Give it a good soaking, Sabrina. I want that car to glow. Oh, my. The hose isn't working. How am I going to wash Uncle Quigley's car? 
Now don't you worry. I'll help you out with a little rain. You said you wanted it to glow. Well, today's the day. You think our boy's ready? I guess he's as ready as he'll ever be. You sure we're in the right spot? Yep. The Department of Magical Vocations likes to keep a low profile. Yeah. Hello, my good man. I'm here for my witchery exam. What's the password? The password? Uh, 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 wait. Well? Uh, oh, here we are. Inspected by number six. <gasps> Grandpa, that's just the... That's it. Come in. Where do we go now, Grandpa? Let's see. Troll licenses, ogre arbitration, the potion permits. Mm, better ask someone. Excuse me, Supervisor Ma'am? We're looking for the witchery test? Down that hall to 211. Thanks. Would you like a lovely bouquet of snapdragons? <gasps> no. Mr. Gandalf, what a pleasure it is to see you. Have a seat. You yeah, my thanks, youngster. My, my, you've been around quite some time. Sure have. In fact, I used to babysit for Attila the Hun. Nice little boy, but a bit on the wild side. Yeah, I think we better get on with the exam. Fine with me. Let her rip. Not bad, but the test isn't over yet. There's one more challenge. There is? A small matter. Make my desk gold. Hey, wait a minute. That wasn't on the study materials. What study materials? Uh, I mean, uh... It's been on the test for years. What have you been studying from? An old film or something? Oh, Sabrina, you, Hilda, Zelda... You've been coaching me all week, haven't you? You didn't think I could pass on my own. I'm sorry, Grandpa. It's just that you seem so, well, old. I'm waiting, Gandalf. Unless, of course, you can't do it, old timer. Stand back. You will see who's too old. said to make his desk cold. I didn't say cold, you old coot. I said make my desk gold. Get us out of here this instant. Grandpa, hurry. You hold your horses. I don't work well when I'm rushed. I, uh, wait. I got it. Look out. Not here, you fool. Well, at least it's warmer. Ah, Grandpa, do something! You know, that reminded me of the time... Quiet! Not another word! You are too old to be a warlock anymore! Way too old! As far as I'm concerned, you're rejected! This is a sad day for witchery. Yep. He was one of the greats. Hey, I feel bad for Grandpa, too. But, well, maybe he shouldn't have his license anymore. Maybe he is getting too old. But it's just not fair. Don't you realize how much experience that man has? I mean, everything he's seen and accomplished should count for something. 
Well, I guess I'll be on my way. Oh, Grandpa Gandalf, I feel terrible. No, now stop your bawling. That examiner fella was right. My time has passed. But you just got a little flustered, Gramps. Yeah, that could have happened to anyone. Hey, you know what? I say we all march back to the DMV office and demand a retest. Yeah, I don't know if that's such a good idea. What do you think, Dribble Chin? Think I should try again? Uh, well... Ow! Uh, uh, yeah, sure you should. Then let's get going! There he is! So, you want to go for a drive in my new convertible tomorrow afternoon? I'm a vampire. So how about tomorrow night? I hate to interrupt your, uh, conference, but are you the guy who flunked my great-grandpa? I most certainly am. We want you to give him the test again. Not a chance. No way. But anyone can make a mistake. Not mistakes like he makes. Face facts, old timer. You're so over the hill, you're coming up the other side. <laughs> Greetings once again. Do you remember us? Of course. You flunked your gremlin test yesterday. True, but even though you failed us, we want you to know we bear no hard feelings toward you. See? Not everyone is a sore loser. In fact, we would like you to have this token of our appreciation. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what's in here. Huh? What in the world is that thing? Beats me! Wait! Oh. Don't do it! <laughs> What is that thing? It's a hole of nothingness! And you unplugged it, you buffoon! I, I didn't know I... My car! Grandpa, you have to do something! No, very well. Winds may howl and thunder roll. Cease this nonsense, plug this hole! Uh... Way to go, Gramps! You did it, Grandpa! Yeah, take it easy, I'm too old for this. Oh, no you're not. That giant carrot was brilliant. Just between you and me, I was trying to make a pyramid. Okay, who unplugged that hole of nothingness? Uh, I did. Don't you know better? What kind of warlock are you? I... I couldn't help it. I didn't know what it was, and I didn't know how to stop it. But my great-grandpa did. My really great-grandpa. Good work, old-timer. Your experience saved the day. Some people around here could learn a lot from you. And just yesterday he flunked, Gramp. Oh, well, you know, uh, considering what just happened, I, I might be able to renew your witchery license after all for, say, uh, a, a hundred... How many? Oh, did, did, did I say one hundred? I, I meant uh, two hundred. <laughs> Sure, you don't want to stay longer? Thanks, but I've been a pest long enough. You have not. Grandpa, I'm sorry I ever said you were too old. I didn't see how valuable all your experience was. No, oh, don't you worry, Dribblechin. When I was your age, I had no patience for old fogies either. Where are you off to, Gramps? Well, now that I got my license renewed, I feel a thousand years younger. I think I'll head on down to Rio and sow some wild oatmeal. Bye, Grandpa. Visit again soon, Grandpa! Mwah! You. <laughs> Fee, fi, fo, fum! Look out, Rio! Here I come! <gasps> I wouldn't want to be in Rio when Gandalf pops in. Why not? Look! Oh, oh no. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Dum de dum dum dum. We're here, kids. Dear Tick Mountain Campsite. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled. Maybe we'll get lucky and see some real life wildlife. up here. I love the mountains. Yeah! Nothing like the school camping trip to get away from it all. Come on! <laughs> Careful, Bernard! If you chip my barbell set, it's coming out of your paycheck! Follow me, campers! The sooner we set up camp, the sooner I can share camaraderie campfire tales of my salad days in Summer Stock Theater. And keep an eye out for snakes. <laughs> I hate snakes. I'm not too crazy about worms for that matter. Who wants to sing a song? The Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up the hill, and then he marched them down again. Your Uncle Quigley's sure cool, Spellman. I bet you're pretty embarrassed to have him along as a chaperone. Lay off, Jim. Shows what you know anyway. I'm not embarrassed by my uncle. You're <laughs> Much? <laughs> okay, campers, pace yourself. Keep it steady. <laughs> mm. You okay back there, Sabrina? My pack is unbalanced. Let me fix it and I'll catch up. Mm -hmm. It's really heavy on one side. <gasps> oh! Hey, Cupcake! This freeze dried camping food's da bomb! You just add water. Mmm! In stoke tuna. <clears throat> Stay out of my food and out of my sight. <clears throat> huh? Blood sugar low. Uh, need to replenish. Must have oatmeal scotchy. Uh. <gasps> Hello, Smellman. That pack of yours sure looks heavy. Want me to help you carry it? <laughs> oh, wait. I forgot. I enjoy seeing you suffer. My bad. Cleopatra called. She wants her hairdo back. That's so funny, Smellman. I forgot to pay someone to laugh for me. So, it must be charming having your very own uncle as a chaperone. What a shame. I guess you won't be able to have any fun. Clueless party of one. I'm planning on having plenty of fun this weekend. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, Miss Jim. I'm feeling a bit winded. Hush, Bernard, I'm talking. Face it, Smellman. The first time you try a little mischief, you'll get grounded or sent to bed without your gruel or whatever punishment it is you poor kids get. Mischief? Since when does mischief equal fun? I knew it! Little baby Smellman is afraid to play a little teensy prank because she's afraid of getting in trouble. Ooh. Ooh. She's serious! <laughs> What's Sabrina gonna do? Ooh. I'm not afraid of getting in trouble. Ooh. Well, would you... Hmm. Would you pull a prank? <gasps> sure, if I felt like it, when I'm like some sophomoric irritating black-haired girls, I've outgrown pranks. Ha! You're afraid. Am not. Are too. And not. Oh, yeah? Prove it, Spellman. I dare ya. Sabrina, don't. You're on, Sister Sludge. <laughs> I dare you to... <gasps> but, but that's so mean. I can't. I told <laughs> you. She's oh, gonna whip she out. Gonna do it. I mean... Okay, let's get this over with. Can we please 86 the bumping? What are you up to? Nothing. Then why are you whispering? And I suppose that rubber snake in your hand is a snack because you ran out of trail mix. 
I'm just going to give Quig a little scare. Jem dared me to, so I have to. <laughs> Since when would you ever do anything that Jem told you to? She didn't tell me to, Salem. She dared me to. There's a big difference. Yeah, one's stupid and one's stupider. I'm out of here. Oh, sorry, Uncle Quig. Hmm, <laughs> dares. No good comes of dares. I should know. I never should have dared the witch's council to turn me into a cat. This no opposable thumb deal is putting a major crimp in my guitar playing. Huh? Mama, you are good! Say, where'd you go? Hmm, I wonder what scared him off. Uh, mm. Snake! 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 Uh, tree climbing variety, no uh, escape! Quig, calm down, it's just a joke, it's a rubber snake! W w Salem, uh, what's that you say? Uh, 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 uh. Huh? I was trying to tell you, it's not real, Quigster. It was a prank. Now come on down out of that tree. Whoa! No! I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha! I... But you were a flower, and you, you were a blimp. Well, granted, I may indulge in the occasional midnight marzipan munch out, but... Oh, I'm just so glad you both are okay. Sabrina, what would make one of your friends play such a mean trick on me? Oh, who knows? Maybe they did it on a dare. Isn't that the in thing with your crowd these days? Dares? Um, well... I'm sure whoever did it is really sorry. That was a dirty trick. I feel awful. I can't believe I did that to Uncle Quig. This is all Jem Stone's fault. I can't wait to get even. Okay, troops, the safe trail is this one. Please stay off the old trail. As you can see, the old trail is overrun with poison oak. Bingo! I smell payback. Sabrina, even monkeys learn from their mistakes. Forget Jem and enjoy the trip. <laughs> Jeff, what is it, Spellman? Whoa, Bernard! I'll bet you you won't cross over that poison oak patch on that rotten log. Are you crazy? I'm highly allergic to anything even mildly unpleasant, i.e. your very being. I double dare you. <gasps> what did you say? I said, I double dog dare you. Not only will I perform your silly little dare, I'll do it barefoot and on stilts! <gasps> Come on, Sabrina. Don't you see that one dare just leads to another? Where's it gonna stop? Once I've beaten Jem. She's really going through with the dare. I thought for sure she'd chicken out. Whoa! I can't look. Whoa! Uh, 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 Jem! Jem! <gasps> Jem, 
Jem, are you all right? Jem, I'm so sorry about that stupid dare. Are you hurt? Are you... Bernard? Bernard? Pretty plant. Oh, my fall. Uh-oh. Lightman, Ivy, Itchy. But where's. <gasps> Gem? It's still my dare. I paid for it. Fair and square. Well, at least no one got seriously hurt. <gasps> ah! Oh, boy. So, who knows a good, scary campfire story? I have one. A true story. Uh, really true? You'd have to ask the ones who never made it out of the Mount Deer Tick gold mine. The disaster happened in that mine right over there. They say that in the days of old, in the 1970s, the miners would carry canaries to make sure that the air in the shafts wasn't poison. <gasps> Great. Seven years at the Wharton Business School and I'm sniffing for poisonous gas. Mom would be so proud. Anyway, one fateful day there came a terrible cave-in. Hey! Somebody save us birds! And so was born the phrase that many of us know all too well. No miners allowed unless accompanied by an adult. Some say that the ghosts of those birds are still in the mine, trapped. And at night, they say, you can still hear the haunting song of the forgotten, doomed canaries. Well, all this storytelling has made me sleepy. Uh, guess I'm gonna turn in. Good night, Story Master. D do you think Harvey's story was real, Sabrina? Yeah, canary ghosts, spooky. Please, believe me, there are scarier things out there. You say you're not scared of ghosts, huh? I dare you to spend one hour in Deer Tick Mine. Nice try, but I'm so over this dare thing. <laughs> Double Dog, Dr. Dre, Dilio Dip, Donut Dare. The Double Dog, Dr. Dre, Dilio Dip, Donut Dare was outlawed by the Geneva Convention. I, I watched the ceremony on CNN. My people never signed the Geneva Convention. What's it gonna be, Smellman? Huh, Sabrina, be one with reason. Like, what if they gave a dare and, like, nobody came? You're a good guy, Pi, but we both know I have no choice. To turn away from Jem's double dog Dr. Dre Dilio Dip Donut Dare is to live forever in shame. Jem, I accept your dare. <laughs> really? <laughs> Future, when the legend of Sabrina Spellman is told, you can bear witness. Tell them I went in with my head held high. B boy, it is really cold in here. <gasps> Salem, what are you doing here? Mm, sheesh. <laughs> I was just taking a cat nap in your hood. So, uh, what'd I miss? I've got to spend an hour in this cave on account of a double dog Dr. Dre Dilio Dip Donut Dare. Dares again? Relax. This time I've got an angle. Everybody's scared of this cave because of ghosts, right? Yeah. Well, I'm a witch. Some of my closest relatives are ghosts. All I've got to do is kill an hour and I walk out of here the darling of dares. And this time, no one gets hurt. I don't care. This place gives me the creepin' heebie-jeebies. I'm archives. Oh, no. You're staying with me. This place is kind of scary. Well, what's that? Who's there? I don't know, but I'll distract him by hiding what? inside your coat and shivering violently. <gasps> Harvey? Pi told me what you were up to. You think I was gonna let you do something this stupid without me? I mean, this stupid without me here to make sure you're okay. You're a good man, Harv, but I'll be fine. It's only for an hour. Yeah, well, this old mine is condemned and unstable. I don't care what kind of dare it was, Sabrina. You really shouldn't be in it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Harvey! 
Safe to say, a bad place. You see, man? I told you I heard voices. <laughs> they came back for us canaries. Groovy. C -c -c canaries So it is true. You're the canaries who were left behind? Afraid so, my fine fox. I'm Sean. And I'm Leaf. So, why are you dressed like the Brady Birds? We made do with what the miners left behind that fateful day. Made miniature versions of their far out threads, learned to speak their language, listen to their music. Casey and the Sunshine Band, PG's Donna Summer, they can really shake a mean goo thing. <laughs> Anyway, we're glad you're here to rescue us. Uh, I'm afraid we don't know the way out. But you got in, Groovy Chick. So obviously there's a way out. Your minecart made a hole we can escape through. But my friend Harvey is lost in here. All because I took a stupid double dog dillio Dr. Dre dip donut dare. Don't worry. Now that we're free of the collapsed mine, we'll get you out of here, Dick. We know these happening caves like the back of our groovy wings. We'll find your friend, retrace your steps, and we'll all get out of here just fine. Salem! Help! It's dark. Uh, I thought you canaries knew this c c cave like the back of your wing. What about this chasm? We knew it was there, cool kitty. Just need a few more inches. In your hood. My guitar! They're still in there, man! We gotta tell someone! Has anyone seen Sabrina and Harvey? They don't seem to be at the campsite. Well, uh, see, it's kind of a funny story. I could use a laugh. She... What? Bad scene, little mama. Stupid dares. That's a subject we know something about. Huh? Dares, us getting trapped in here. It was our own fault. We used to dare each other to fake choking, you know, to scare the miners. Well, one day Leaf dared me to put a little scare into the miners. I stupidly accepted. <laughs> 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 Dare cost us the best years of our lives. So it wasn't the miners' fault. Ha! We were told there were ghosts and horrible, scary thingies in there. <laughs> no, no ghosts. Just live carnivorous roots. Carnivorous, carnivorous roots? roots? There's some now. Far out. Help! Not nearly as far out as those deranged rodents. Ah! Rodents? Who's afraid of a little rodent? Sounds like lunch to me. Ah! Ah! Looking all over for you. Doesn't this cave remind you of that video game, Raiders of the Lost Galleria? Harvey! Help! Yikes! Hang on! Cool! I always wanted to do this. Way to go, Harvey! I didn't 
know your cat played the guitar. Whoa! Whoa! Let's put the hammer down. Yeah! Which way is out? The turn is right up here, but I can't remember which. Wait! I hear something. Go that way. jam with that guy all day long. Thanks for saving us. It's been interesting. Oh, kid, no more dares, okay? Man, do I ever promise. Have a nice day. Go! Uh-oh, what am I gonna tell Uncle Quigley? How about the truth? <laughs> Sabrina, I had the weirdest dream. Go ahead, tell him. I dare you. Good job!